Okay. Um, hello, YouTube. So, today, I'm going to be talking about languages and how I learn them. Um, I don't know. So, if you guys don't know, I'm learning French, Mandarin, Chinese, and Korean. So, I'm just kind of, this is more going to be a tips sort of video than like anything. So, stick around, I guess, if you want some tips. Maybe I'll put the specific tips and like, and then I'll link the apps I talk about below too in the description. So, um, the first tip that I really have is if there is a legitimate alphabet, learning the alphabet before anything. So for example, Mandarin does not have a specific alphabet, it, unless you're talking about Pinyin. Any, it is strictly just characters that you draw on, you know. So, but whereas a language like French or Korean have their own different alphabet. Or I think Thai and Japanese do too to a degree. I know Korean I know I know Korean and Thai do. But someone can correct me on Japanese. Um so if there's an alphabet, I recommend learning that first. Because if you can read the alphabet, it'll be easier to get by instead of just learning a bunch of different vocabulary based off of like romanization or anything before going in and learning the Hangul or the Katakana or Hiragana or I don't know what they call the Thai one. Um, but you get what I mean. So, yeah. Um, another tip I have, so tip number two, is try to talk to as many people as you can in that language that you are learning, or try to find people to speak to. So, like, I live in an area where people, if they speak a different language, it is predominantly Spanish that is spoken, I would say. Um, so obviously that doesn't really help me out much unless I'm learning Spanish, which I really should, but that's besides the point. Um, so I would say I use apps like HelloTalk or Hi Native. I've heard is a good one. I haven't really tried it yet. I'm going to, but I do like Hello Talk. I think Hello Talk is good for having conversation, even if the people can end up being a bit off the rails. Um, so, but hell, even though I think there can be some creeps here and there on Hello Talk, overall, I think it is a good app to use if you just want to start conversing and getting a grasp of native slash how others in the language you're trying to learn actually legitimately speak. Um, now tip number three. What is tip number three? Oh, flashcards. Yes. Flashcards are your best friend. You know why? Because it helps you with vocabulary. And vocabulary is what you need to be able to speak the language. So, make flashcards. There's a thing called Quizlet that you can do this with two or you can buy them they're I think only like a dollar um but yeah I mean I think that that's a pretty good third tip um so let's see my fourth tip my fourth tip is to listen to music 
or watch TV shows in that language. So I like K-pop. So that helps me a lot because I can already, I already grasped a bit of the, how Korean sounds. So, when I go back now and I listen to the K-pop that I know, so like, you know, BTS, Blackpink, Alris, the whole shebang, I can now go and say, oh, this is what this word means in this sort of conjugation or this or that. And I can do the same thing with French. Kind of, I would listen to French rap if I'm listening to French music. That's a fun fact, but um, I need to get more into like, is there a French pop? I don't know. Someone tell me. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, and I also enjoy C dramas. I prefer C dramas to like K dramas because of the fact that. C dramas, I feel like, are plot wise a bit better to me than K dramas. And not that I don't watch K dramas, but I prefer C dramas if I'm gonna watch a drama or a this or a that. I also watch a lot of, I try to watch a lot of variety that, like, my favorite groups do. So, like, I was just watching Knowing Bros with um, BTS the other day. And, yeah. Number, so tip number five is I just recently learned that there are podcasts that you can listen to that are typically teaching you words in the language that you're trying to learn or this or that. So for example, I found on Spotify, um, there was a few that I found on Spotify. One of them is like Cafe with French or something. I gotta see what it's called. Um, podcast. Let me go here. So, episodes. So, okay. Do all, so there's a Coffee Break French. And the, there's a, a few called Coffee Break, and then it's Coffee Break X Language. Or I also really like to use Talk to Me in Korean for Korean. I started using it recently, and also for apps, I oh, a dictionary. This is an extra tip. So, a lot of us know, I'm sure, what a dictionary is, but. I'm going to talk about it anyway. So this type of dictionary, though, is a bit different because it translates what you're trying. So, like, I use this app called Playco, but I go on Playco. I type in the word, let's see, Playco is a Chinese translation app, just so you know, or Chinese dictionary app. So it's like, I can type in a word in Chinese and it'll translate in English. I can type a word in English and it'll translate into Chinese. Same as Navra Dictionary. Um, does anyone know one of these for French that is good? I haven't seen one out there, really. Um, so if you can, let me know. If you know of one, let me know. Please and thank you. But yes, dictionaries are your best friend because sometimes you forget words or you're not exactly sure how to communicate what you're trying to say in the best proper way because you can only think of certain words, but then you're like, but that doesn't sound right. That may sound right in English, but it might not sound right contextually in the language you're trying to speak. So, dictionary, app, dictionary apps are your best friend. Pleco, Naver, um, things like that. There you go. And that is my language advice. So, if you like my language advice, I hope you do. Um, that's just like five 
tips that I thought were definitely helpful for me. Um, podcasts, like I said. I'm sure there's more that I don't know about. But those are the ones I found on Spotify. So those will be easy to locate. So that is why I said that. Um, okay. So, anyways, it's time to end this thing. I hope you guys like this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below, like I said. Um, so, is there a French dictionary app? Like Pleco or Naver Dictionary? Does anyone know? Um, also, comment down below if there's any other additional tips you have. These are just things that I use myself. Um, they may not work for everybody, but they work for me. And I can kind of speak Korean now, so there's that. Okay, anyway. <laughs> um, you can, if you like me, you can hit subscribe. Um, also, hit the, no if my, if when I upload is that important, hit the notification bell. Sure, why not? Also, it's time to say goodbye now.